This video shows how to graft a lemon tree using tea budding. The tea bud is commonly used for grafting lemon trees. It is easy and gives a high success rate. It works well for grafting new fruit trees. This is the rootstock that I will be grafting to, a variety called Carrizo. The fruit that I will be grafting is a delicious lemon hybrid called Lemonade. It is not as sour as a traditional lemon. It can be peeled and eaten like an orange and has a similar balance between sweet and sour. In order to achieve a successful graft and also to avoid spreading disease, I sterilize my grafting tools with a 1.5% concentration of chlorine bleach. First, I remove the leaves and thorns from the rootstock. A budding height of at least 8 to 12 inches or 20 to 30 centimeters above the soil will make for a healthy tree. I cut an upside down T into the rootstock at this height. An upright T will also work. The advantage of an upside down T is that it can help to keep water out. This may produce better results in a rainy area. Next, I peel the bark back with the bark lifter on my grafting knife to prepare the rootstock to receive the bud. Tea budding must be performed during a time of year when the tree is actively growing, allowing the bark to be peeled back. I cut the bud by slicing underneath it. The back of the bud has wood attached. The wood does not need to be removed. It is important to avoid touching the cut surfaces of the bud. It is often possible to hold the bud by the petiole where the leaf was attached. Since the petiole has fallen off, I pick up the bud with my knife. Next, I insert the bud under the bark. I cut off the bottom of the bud piece that was sticking out. It is important to graft the bud right side up. The bud should be on top. The scar where the leaf was attached is on the bottom. This is a thorn. Next, I wrap the bud tightly with vinyl tape starting below the bud and wrapping up. My step-by-step -step article at fruitmentor.com slash grafting lemon trees has more information on wrapping material. In order to improve my chances of success, I will graft a second bud to the rootstock. This way I will succeed even if one of the bud grafts fails. Citrus cuttings have the potential to spread tree-killing diseases. It is often not apparent when a tree is infected with a fatal disease. This makes the source of citrus budwood for grafting very important. In California, where I live, we now have both exotic diseases that kill citrus trees and also the insects that spread the diseases. The situation is so severe that it is now against the law in California to graft with backyard citrus cuttings. Hobbyists in California now instead order their budwood at a nominal cost from the Citrus Clonal Protection Program, or CCPP, a program that exists to provide disease-free budwood for the grafting of citrus trees. I've made a video that shows how to set up an account and order citrus budwood. You can click here or visit the link below. The CCPP will ship budwood anywhere in the world where the local laws allow it. Many citrus growing regions where it is not allowed have their own disease-free citrus budwood programs. Information on other programs is included in the ordering video. After the grafts are finished, I move the tree to a shady area for a three-week healing period. After the healing period, I unwrap the grafts. Both buds are still green, an indication of success. I would normally perform the next step with the tree in the container, but my family likes lemonade fruits so much that I decided to plant the tree in the ground first. Citrus trees do much better in the ground than in containers, so this will give the tree a better start. I create a watering basin whenever I plant a citrus tree. Lemonade is my daughter's favorite citrus fruit and she is excited to help. I let the tree settle in for a few days before the next step, which is forcing the grafted bud to grow. A phenomenon called apical dominance governs the growth of citrus buds. Natural hormones from the buds at the end of the branches prevent buds lower down from growing. In order for a grafted bud to grow, the effect of these hormones must be overcome. I break the apical dominance by cutting halfway through the rootstock and pushing it over so that the terminal buds are lower than the newly grafted buds. 
the time lapse shows about three weeks of growth. After a bit more growth, I removed the top of the rootstock and staked the tree. Here you see the lemonade tree the following spring. It is important to remove any sprouts from the rootstock. If left to grow, it would outcompete the grafted variety and produce undesirable fruit. In order to encourage branching, I again break apical dominance by cutting off the terminal buds. Here you see the new branches on my lemonade tree. I have made this video to save citrus trees all over the world from deadly diseases. Another thing that you can do to save citrus trees is to inspect them monthly for citrus psyllids, the insects that spread the deadly Huanglong Bing disease. Learn more here. You can download my free ebook with more citrus grafting tips at fruitmentor.com slash grafting tips.